Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make voltage multiplier that generate high voltage. This voltage multiplier convert the 220 volt AC voltage in the input to 1800 volt in the output. So it can be used for fly or bug zapper and even for ozone generator. This is the circuit of my voltage multiplier. This circuit also called Cockcraft Walton. It consists of 6 diodes and 6 capacitors. It has 3 stages of voltage doubler. To make it easier to understand how this circuit works, let's look at a single stage voltage doubler. Assuming we connect this circuit to 220 volt RMS with a frequency of 50 Hz and its peak voltage is 311 volt. AC voltage with a frequency of 50 Hz changes its polarity 100 times per second. In the negative cycle, this side will be negative and this side will be positive. So this capacitor charging through this diode to about 311 volts. However, there are some voltage drop across the diode, but it is negligible. In the next positive cycle of the input AC voltage, this side will be positive and this side will be negative. This time because we have a charge capacitor from the prior cycle and because the voltage of the capacitor and voltage of the source are in series, so the two voltages added together and going to charge the second capacitor through this diode. So the voltage stored in the second capacitor will be something around 620 volt. By adding more stages, we will take higher voltage in the output. I'm using three stages of this voltage doubler. So the output voltage will be around 18,060 volt. The capacitance of the capacitors could be anything less than one microfarad. Keep in your mind that the voltage rating of the capacitors used in this circuit should be at least two times more than the peak input voltage. For example, in my case, because the mains voltage is 220 volt, the peak voltage will be 311 volt. So I have to use capacitors with voltage rating at least 630 volt, but it's better to use in 1000 volt capacitors. I'm using an LED and two resistors in the input of the circuit to show that the circuit running. I convert this circuit to PCB and send it to PCB manufacturer. After two months, I received the package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. As you can see, it's working. I want to measure the output voltage from this circuit. But since my multimeter cannot handle more than 600 volt, I have to use a high voltage probe like this. I will show you how to make high voltage probe in other video. As you can see, the multimeter reading 18.5 volt because I'm using 100x high voltage probe, so we have to multiply this number by 100. So the output voltage is 1850 volt. It is slightly less than expected because of the capacitor's leakage, diode's voltage drop, and even the high voltage probe may be loaded the output and decreasing the output voltage. As you can see here, the power consumption of this circuit is very low, only 300 milliwatts. It could be even less if you remove the LED. Keep in your mind that the capacitors stay charged even after removing the input voltage, so it could be dangerous. You can order this circuit from PCBWay.com. I leave the link below in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.